Okay, it has been a while since I left Twitch, so I've been catching up on so much it's been ridiculous. So this is kind of my, this is what I've been up to. Well, a part of what I've been up to, I mean I've, I've been flat out uh, away from the computer and doing a lot of other things. But this is the game that currently has me at the moment, um, Scrap Mechanic. It's really cool actually. So. This is kind of a, a bit of a catch up on you know what I've been up to over the last well, at least three four days, um, and also kind of to show what I've been doing in this to a few other people. So uh, this game is kind of hey, you build stuff. So like you'll grab like a couple of blocks, and chuck something down there, and then you know put a piece on top of it, like you know whatever. And then you've got bearings and stuff, and you can you can move things around. So like you could, as an example, um, let's put. Just something simple on here, then you'd have a controller, and let's put a button on there. You link it all together, um, chuck that on there, chuck that on there, set this to move, I don't know, 90 degrees. And when you push the button, stuff happens. And that's basically what this game is. Um, they haven't added pistons, which does, you'd, you'd be surprised just how much you actually would use pistons until you don't have one to use. So, um, here is my current mode of transport, which is quite handy for multiplayer because it does have a back seat, um, some thrusters for extra horsepower if I need it, but let's show you what I've been up to. Um, if I can get us there in one piece. You can see I have a little arrow there I made, so if people spawn up here they know which way to go. Whoa, whoa. So, we're all good. I can drive. Totally. With moss and everything. Oh my god, this way. This is a cool little car. Um, so, I've managed to cut out everything in this map that has um, hydraulics. Um, oh. Oh, I'm all good. There we go. Um, because hydraulics cause major lag, and I've fixed a lot of broken stuff, but um, I still get a lot of issues with um, low frames, particularly when I'm close to my house, which is down there underground. Okay, so this is my lookout tower. This is the first thing I'm going to show off, which I realised after I made it, just how much this hurts your eyes, but just bear with me for a minute. So this is my fancy door. Isn't that just cool? Fancy. Fancy, fancy. Um, okay, so this is my steer wheel. It doesn't look like a steer wheel, I know, but... <coughs> now it's a steer wheel. That looks really cool. However, when walking up here... Oh my god, it's just... Your eyes just have a fit. Um, and it's a nice lookout tower. I should really dismantle this whole building and rebuild it with something else, but... Uh, so much work. Okay, let's go back down here. Uh, and then I have a, a button here to reset it. And shut the door. Anyway, so that's my little lookout tower. Now, uh, where's my car? I'll show off my garage first. If I can make it go! Yeah. In case that happens, I have a... Um, Um, that kind of works. Sometimes. Sometimes it works. Yeah, okay, this time it's obviously not. <laughs> um, that's right, let's chuck this thing on the lift. And it's good to go. Okay, um, so this is my garage. Um, stealthy hidden little button. Right, let's grab the car. So they haven't got lights in this game yet. Well, they've got lights, but they just don't seem to do anything. Um, it'll be cool when they add them, because it's actually quite dark. Uh, well, it's, it's not too bad, it's kind of like in the shade, it's not dark dark, but... 
Let's do it. Working lights would be nice for indoors. So, I have, um... As you can see, the top of the ramp drops down. The roof closes back over again. Very cool. There's a lot of different materials in this. You can see there's metal, concrete. Um, right, let's close this up so you can watch it from here. See, so kind of does this pancakey thing. Okay, so my other entrances, I have one just here. Actually, yeah, believe it or not. Now this is the worst one. This one always breaks whenever I load and save, but... Watch it close. Isn't that cool? I think so. Right. So when you look in there when it first opens, you see there's like nothing in there. But you need stairs to get down. Boom! Stairs. And this is how you get down. Now, when it closes up, the t up here, this is where my frame rate drops like a rock. Because there's just so much down here that moves. So I have like the safety gate and all that. Um, and like when you activate it from down here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so, um, oh, actually, I'll sh that goes down, like, you would have seen there was a doorway in the garage which heads down into there as well. Now, before I go and show you everything that's down there, I'll show you the other entrance that I have, because I made three. One is never enough. The other one's over here. Now, this one's a really heavy door. You can kind of see it's got a bit of a gap here. Um, it's got locks underneath it, latches, that kind of hold it. You'll see it when I hit the button. See them disengage, and you see it drop down a bit. The occasional boom and crash of different things. And, voila, insta steps. Um, very cool. Actually looks really cool from the top. And you see the locks engage, and push it back up. There we go. Um, a lot of work went into this, but it's cool. Um, so let's go back down. I'll show you what it's like on the inside. So you can see. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about making an elevator as well. Elevator would be pretty cool. Okay, so... Um, and I call it, So here's the locks. So they kind of hold that up like that. Done. And a safety gate because, you know... Safety gates are good. It's kind of funny, the safety gate goes, you can actually walk in there and then all of a sudden the stairs just come down. Owned. Anyway. Um, so, down inside here, um, this is basically what I've got for this house so far, which this is supposed to be closed. Um, this is all empty space, that's all empty space. This is um, my garage. So, I haven't done a great deal in here, there's still a lot of room to add more bits and pieces. Um, so the first room I built, which was this one here, I love the look of these doors, they're all cool. Was this one. Simple door, that's, you know, just does that. Now I put a hole in the wall here so I only need one switch. I mean, it wouldn't take much to put two, but, eh, one works. Okay, now this is a, um an interesting gadget to show how you can use two switches to do one thing. So as you can see that just toggles that backwards and forwards and this one over here also toggles it backwards and forwards. Um, but you can use the different switches and it will still toggle it. I thought those thrusters looked cool. Make sure you put like fiery thrusters in a wooden house. Um, okay, so, the normal door. So, door number two got a little bit fancier, because it wraps right around, which is cool. And this is just, you know, plants, radio.
And there's some chairs so you can just chill out. But yeah. Sometimes it has good music, sometimes it's kind of interesting. Um, right, let's close this one. On to door number three, which is different again. Uh, it's kind of like a funky scissor door. But yeah, this one just demonstrates pistons. Um, now you'll see this one's kind of off on an angle. That's because when you load a game, it messes stuff up. Um, so this one's just done with a couple of bearings. Nothing too flashy. Now this one here is done with more bearings, so as you can see it has a lot more travel. You get a lot more distance with it. Actually it's built differently as well. But yeah. So that's kind of what I built down here so far. That's kind of what I have. Um, so that is pretty much it. That's this house. It's done. So um, it's a lot of work that's gone into it, but let's take this beastie out. Blast off! And of course, I roll. Is my anti-roll going to work? No, it's not. Yeah, that needs a redesign. Okay, so the other thing that I've been working on... Um, now, hydraulics really does lag the crap out of everything really badly, so um, this map in particular I have completely avoided using hydraulics, hence why the car has no hydraulics. Um, but, my other one, however, um, has a really cool little car in it. Um, and this is, I've just, haven't even bothered. Um, this is my spider car. This thing is mean. Let's just give it a little bit of a tour around here. Big meaty fat tyres on it. I've even got camber. For extra grip. Dual suspension. I've got like sports suspension and off-road suspension. Just to give it that bit of extra you know, stability. Lots of extra weight on here. Um, thrusters on the back. This thing is so much fun to drive. So much talk. And the cool thing is with this, if you roll it, it's got enough torque to flip itself back up the right way again. And this thing can dance. It's just so insane. This thing is so much fun to burn around with. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know how much time I've spent just, just in this car alone, just kind of cruising around doing random stuff. Um, it started off being a lot slower actually, um, and it was just kind of like drifting around all over the place, and, and then I tried to give it more grip, um, and I started playing with the different ideas of camber, but then I couldn't steer the thing, so I put camber on the front wheels, um, reduced the camber on the back wheels a little bit, um, and yeah, just had a ball. So what I'm working on at the moment, um, which I'm not sure if I'll get to work because I've already built it once and it completely glitched out and broke um, and which it has done again I forgot you cannot save anything um, on on the lift if you save something on the lift it uh, just completely breaks it, it dies uh, you can't rescue it it's it's gone uh, so I have to dismantle this whole thing again and rebuild it all over again. But yeah, it's going to be like a big truck version. So it's going to have two suspension up, three suspension down. But every time I get close to starting to build it, once I get past this point, the game crashes because too much suspension. So I might just go one up and two down. 
and um, and instead of having a yellow, um, I'm gonna, ha gonna have two whites down, one white up. Just see what this thing comes out like. It should be pretty cool. Um, yeah. So, that's what I've been up to, that's what I've been building, this is the current game I've been hammering the crap out of, I've been playing a few others as well, but this is the one that I thought, gonna do a video, show off my crazy creations, and um, yeah, see what you guys reckon. So that's me for now, um, I'll chuck up another vid at some stage, uh, catch up with you guys, let you know what I'm up to, what games I'm playing, maybe you can do some reviews, but definitely, if you got some spare cash, check this game out, it's, it's, I mean, it's a lot of fun already, I've spent like three, four days on it. Um, until next time, I'll catch you later.